Ladies and gentlemen, this morning we're going to have pizza and anchovies with my black coffee. That's right. I'm going to take this pizza with the anchovies, and I'm going to tell Mr. Show Nice who eats anything kind of out of beat of Michael Fazio. And here we go. We have a black coffee, two cups, because I've been a dipping all morning. So we have this black coffee here. First we have to add, first we have to add the garlic with the oil. That's the garlic and the oil. It stays on the top of the coffee because the oil floats. Then we take this piece of the pizza with the anchovies and we dip it into the coffee like that. So nice you got a nothing on the Michael Fazio. That's right. I challenge you so nice to eat the coffee with the anchovies and the pizza. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you want to wash it down at the end of the meal, have a dessert, every Papa John's a pizza. Every Papa John's pizza, you gotta use the Papa John's a pizza. Every Papa John's pizza comes with a pepperoncini. This is a pepperoncini. And what you do is you take this a pepperoncini like this, and you bite off at the end, and you fill it up with the coffee like that. Ah, ah, ah! And you suck the coffee out of the pepperoncini like this. Very good. You can see the bubbles, and ah, ah, ah! Making my eyes water, baby. And this is the rest of this black coffee. This is black coffee. I wash it down in the pizza with. This is not just a breakfast, ladies and gentlemen. This is a breakfast of the champions. Anchovy pizza with the pepperoni and a black coffee. When the men were men. And this is a Michael Fazio and a Rabbi hey, Jubaka. Saying, remember, for Mr. Obama had a son and his son. Hey! Hi! This is Tony in Texas. Mike and I over here, we were having a conversation and he was telling me about this one certain religion that when you pray, you're praying with your nose up somebody's butt and he managed to wander off onto the topic of flatulence. Mike, would you care to explain? Yes, I'd like to displace the, my mother's theory about flatulence in a car. <laughs> what do you mean flatulence? That's not the word you 
confused when you were talking to well, me. Well, I was talking about my mother flatulating, Tony. I wasn't going to... I'm gonna... sorry. All right, well, I... well, okay, when my mother farts, when she used Not to... Your mother. Our mothers don't fart, they flatulate. That's our right, my mother... Fought and we fought, but That's not right. our mothers. That's right. Well, when my mother used to flatulate in the car, <laughs> she would make it so it didn't sound like anything. <laughs> and and then if 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 it smelled. Wait a minute. You remember back then when your mother was passing wind? She was a big flatulator. Wait. So these are your childhood memories? This is how I remember the my mother. Passing wind in the car. That's right. My we used to take a lot of we used to take a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you and the dog fight for who was going to stick their head out the window? No, no. My father kept the windows locked in case he fought it. <laughs> <laughs> my, my father would rock you. So, so, in other words, you come from a family who was not selfish with their flatulence. No, that my father... Make sure you shared it with one another. That's right. My father would lock the electric windows and you sat there and liked it. <laughs> He was I'm like sorry. that. I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's okay. But when my mother... See, we used to take these long rides to see my grandmother in New Jersey, in Plainfield. Did she, did she have a methane problem also? Grandma, she used to fart too, but she used to let it go. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> she, you know something? She, How could you tell in New Jersey? The whole state stinks. Right, well, on the ride there, it took an hour to get there. My mother would let one go, but she didn't make it smell. So if you was in the back and you let one go... You would try to hide the sound too. So everybody that that didn't fart would smell it, but you two would be sitting there enjoying it because if you don't know it's not your fart, that this was my mother's theory. This isn't my theory. She, she says as long as you don't know it's not yours, you could sit there and enjoy it. I mean that's how oh, mom. Oh, the way, wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. So you and your mother had conversations on flatulence and methane gas being passed by one another, right? My mother was very open. She was, she had a, I'm sorry. she had an I'm sorry with the windows. No, so, right. so, so if my mother, if, if you farted and she farted and you didn't make any sounds, the other two people would be dying because my father wouldn't roll the windows down in case he let one loose too. He wouldn't want no fresh air in the car. And, and my brother, he didn't fart. He burped. But. So if so, if two people fought and it's silent but deadly, you two could enjoy it, but the other two people are screwed, and and that's like when you go and you pray. If you're on your knees praying, and and you have your head stuck up somebody else's ass, it's the same thing, because it's wafting. It's kind of like wafting from downwind, and and then God is allowing you to enjoy the fart, not. <laughs> So this is your analysis well, of flatulence. No, this is they this is silent or being. What about it? They're both noisy ones. Uh, then, well, you have to talk to my mother about that. She had her own theory about that. You just sit there and like it, or just you know don't like it. But that's your problem, she would say. My mother was very strict when it came to. Thank you very much for sharing with us. Well, okay, Tony. <laughs> your analysis on flatulating. Now, what about that camera of yours? The camera? The camera takes perfect pictures. No, the, your usual ending. Oh, the camera. That's right, folks. You know who this is. This is Michael Fazio from Key Largo telling you just why my mother thought the way she did was something that you'd have to have an expanded consciousness for. And I need to get a bigger camera.